So last but not least is the clothing portion of this haul. I have them all lying out on the bed. So um, let's get started. Um, and I will try desperately to get the try on portion to work. So first is this awesome sweatshirt dress from ASOS. I have been loving sweatshirt and sweater dresses. I didn't used to like them, but I have loved them this season and last year. Um, so it's this gray midi length t-shirt dress, but my favorite part of this are these sleeves. Look at these sleeves. They are so cool. I love this. It is so comfortable and the inside is this fleece material. It's this fleece material and it is so soft. It's so, so soft. I love this dress. It's a little um, smaller. It fits a little smaller than I would like. I am 5'8 and this is a US size 10. Um, I like things to, right now anyway, my taste is that I like them to be pretty oversized. This is still, I will still wear this, um, but as I continue to lose inches, um, I expect that this will fit exactly how I want, but I really love this dress. It has this cool keyhole opening detail in the back. Yeah, love it. Next is a sweater from, ooh, <laughs> you should see my setup it is ridiculous. Next is a sweater um, by um, T. Alexander Wang. And, oh my God, this sweater, it is the softest, I think it is a wool cashmere blend. It is the softest material. I cannot even deal. It's this awesome oversized V-neck sweater that I imagined wearing with all kinds of things, including um, some of my metallic pleated skirts um, with skinny jeans. With, I mean, you could wear this with whatever you wanted. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's just such an awesome piece. I waited and waited for it. Let me show you. I waited and waited for it because it was hella expensive. The original price was $325 and I was like, Ugh. is that American? I mean, for a sweater, I, I will drop cash for things, but um, I have to, I always think about cost per wear and things like sh um, shirts and, and sweaters and dresses, things that I'm not necessarily wearing every single day. Um, I have a hard time dropping that kind of money for it, but the, it went, um, on sale and then it went on mega sale and I snapped it up because I would just obsessively check. Um, they have a sweater, this one sold out, but they have one, sim I, I can't tell the difference between this and the one that either Nordstrom or Neiman has listed. I will put, um, everything that is still available in the description box below but, oh God, I love this sweater. It is so awesome. Next is this sweater from J. Crew. You know, I used to love J. Crew a lot. Um, I think I probably had a more of a preppier, maybe a classic style. Um, and then they went through this phase where they were putting lobsters on everything. This was years ago and I was like, what? And so I just didn't go in there for a while. Um, but I popped in a few weeks ago and, and you guys probably already saw a peek of it. This saw this sweater and this is coming up. This looks more orange on the camera. It's a, it's a true red. Um, it reminds me of going up to the mountains snowboarding <laughs> and then uh, going to the lodge afterwards and having hot chocolate um, or hot rum <laughs> or some such. Anyway, um, but it's a really cool, a really cute crew neck 
um, sweater that I'm sure that I will zhuzh up in some kind of hipster punk kind of way because I'm not very preppy. Um, and this seems like kind of a preppy sweater. It is so soft. It is so bloody soft. I don't know what, what is this made out of? It is, it's wool, it's 100% wool. It is, I mean, it's so soft. I love this sweater. Um, so if I can find this, I got this on sale too. If I can find this, I will post it below. They had another color, it's like a camel color, um, but I really, really love the red. If you guys watched my first video, you know that red is my favorite color. So, love that. The next items are just some graphic tees um, that I got from Urban Outfitters. Um, I got three graphic tees. I'm not a big, I wouldn't say I'm a huge graphic tees fan. I have some um, and I don't really wear, these are all band tees and I don't really wear band tees. I don't know, I've just never been drawn to them. But I saw these, these were on sale as well um, and I just like the way they looked. I thought they were so, um, cool and I thought that would be um nice to have underneath a you know a cardigan or a um or a blazer just a a cool detail that kind of peeks through the center of um whatever cover-up you're wearing so that's why I got these so my battery was down to two percent so I had to go get a new one yay preparation um so I was talking about graphic tees and how I don't normally wear band tees um even for bands that I love but I really love the way these look um and this one, so this is a men's tee. I think I mentioned I got it from Urban Outfitters. It's David Bowie. I liked David Bowie. I wasn't a huge David Bowie fan. My husband loves, loves David Bowie. Loved him, loves him. And um, I just thought this was really cool. The colors and um, I mean, this is a very classic picture of David Bowie. So I, I don't know, I just thought that was really cool. Um, I could think of multiple outfits uh, to wear this with, um, where this would shine. So I liked that. And then I got another, another, for not being a fan of David Bowie, I got a lot of David Bowie, another t-shirt with David Bowie on it and Debbie Harry from Blondie. And I love, I loved, they sang um, One Way or Another, what was another thing that they sang? One way or another. I can't think of anything else because now I have that song in my head. <laughs> but I know something will, like it'll, another song of theirs will occur to me. Anyway, um, and I really like, I just, what I liked is how young, I've never seen a photo like this of David Bowie. He's so young in this photo. So I, I don't know, something about that attracted me to the shirt. So I got it. And then... And this is another artist that I wouldn't say I'm a he I like them. Everybody knows who this is. Let's say I like Beyonce um, a lot, but I wouldn't say I'm a huge like I don't swoon like a lot of people do. But this shirt, I can't. There we go. This shirt is awesome. I think that she looks so fierce. I mean, it's just a fierce photo. Something about this says, I don't give two licks what you think. And I love this detail, the smoking, this like smoke detail up here. I just, I don't know. I thought this was a really, really cool shirt. Um, so yeah, those are the graphic tees that I got. Okay, so the next group of clothing I got from a boutique called Perican Bing, and I pulled on, they have an online store, um, and I pulled it up so that you could see, because it's such an unusual name. Let's see if it'll show. There. Perican Bing. Run, don't walk. Uh, it ha is such, um, sorry, I'm putting my hand all over the lens. It's such a well-curated a collection of clothing uh, if you like nice materials um, cool cuts really interesting designs um, and but that are still uh, 
classic isn't the word, but um, that are still easy to pair um, and mix into your wardrobe. It's such a great boutique. Um, and so the first thing I got, this will be the only article of clothing that will not be, <clears throat> pardon me, in the try on because um, I don't care showing things that are a little tight on me, but this was bordering on obscene. <laughs> but I loved these pants. Um, so they're these, um, <coughs> excuse me, blue with an elastic waist, flat front pants. But what I really loved about these pants are, or slit, oh God, I'm not gonna show you. See the slit on the outside of the leg. Um, and so, uh, and it has, of course, both sides have it. And I can just see pairing this with a really cool, pointy toe boot and you're just having the peak of that boot on the side and the peak of the boot on the front love it I can't wait um, I will probably be able to fit in these entirely in about a month I can pull them up but it's not good and then the next thing I got oh my god I can't even when I saw this skirt I thought I was gonna have a stroke. I thought I, I thought I was gonna have a stroke, which is ridiculous to say because it's just a skirt, but I, <laughs> oh my God. If you put velvet, if you make something either velvet or metallic, I'm sold. And this is this black velvet pleated skirt. I think you can see, yes, oh my God. And it's a maxi skirt. It goes on, I can't even get to the bottom. There it goes, it goes on for centuries. It is awesome. It's so good. I got it in a size medium. They had small, medium, and large. Um, this is by Just Female. Oh, I can tell you the brand. Oh, and the pants are also by Just Female, I, which is a brand that I actually really, really love. Just Female is right up my alley. So I got this in a medium instead of the large um, because um, I am successfully losing inches um, in my health journey um, and if anybody wants to hear about that um, leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to talk about what I'm doing. Uh, I did a little bit of a blog post on it um, so I expect that I, I, mean, I didn't want to get this in a large and then have it be too big because this joint, I am, they're gonna bury me in this skirt. I freaking love this thing. Oh my God, it's so good. It's, oh, it's just, it's so good. I can't even, it's just, let's next, next topic. Okay, this, this is the cutest sweater. Um, she called it the Facts of Life sweater, which I thought was hilarious because she we were, we were totally dating ourselves. Sing, I started singing the theme song. This is by Callahan, and it is this really awesome turtleneck sweater with this awesome V front, or um, I don't know, dyed V detail. It's like a... It's actually a dusty rose. I don't know what color. Eh, might be coming up true on the camera. Um, and what I also loved are these sleeves. I love, you know, these kind of bubbly, bubble type sleeves, and they're really long. Um, I have long arms, and so um, any sleeves that come over, I really like the look of things that come over my wrist um, to the middle of my hand. I really love that. And this does that. This is the back. It's just. So good, kind of dolman, dolman-esque. Anyway, I thought this was a really cool sweater. Um, very cozy, very lovely. Yeah, just a nice piece to have. Okay, this jumpsuit. <sighs> I can't even deal. I can't even deal. I can't. Okay, so I have this jumpsuit already. 
I got this jumpsuit in a blush pink from Anthropology and wore it for my last birthday. It was my birthday outfit. And, and then I wore it for, to another event. I freaking love that thing. It's so good. It's so good. And I see this in Perrican, Bing, and it's on sale. It's by... It's either Laca USA or La Causa. Let me just show you. I have no idea. You see that? Nope. Focus. There it goes. Laca USA or La Causa. Um, this, I don't remember what I was saying, but this jumpsuit, it's V-neck, kind of a lower V and a lower back and a lower side. So for those of you uh, ladies with small boobs, you could, you might have a little bit of sexy side boob. I have um, big boobs and so I have to wear a bra with this and um, a br the bra, the side of the bra kind of shows on either side. I actually don't mind that. It's kind of a, the bra that I wear, this is kind of a lacier um, bra on the side. So I don't, I don't mind that showing. Um, in the, I will mention that in the try on video, um, that bra that I was talking about, I could not find it any, how do you lose a bra? Honestly, how do you lose a bra? I could not find it anywhere. So I'm wearing it with a racer back bra. Um, so it's just mentioning, I forgot where I left off. I was mentioning that, um, I, because I couldn't find the bra that I wear with the other, the sister of this in the blush pink, um, I was wearing a racer back bra in the try on, but I think I was wearing a blazer in the try on. Uh, so you wouldn't see it anyway, whatever. This thing is awesome. It's, it's silk. I believe it's silk. And it um, comes, the length on me comes to just above my ankles. And it's this wide leg. Oh, so it's a stand up wide leg pant. It is so, oh my God. And the color, look at the color on my skin. Seriously, so good. It's so good. I love it. I love it. Okay, so the last thing in this haul is probably my favorite thing in this entire haul. I love this shirt so much. I can't wait to show it to you, but um, first, okay, so I love Gucci. I, everybody and their mother's uncle loves Gucci and what their new creative director is doing. Um, but they are hella expensive. Um, having said that, Gucci took a lot of my money last year and I love a Gucci bag and I love a Gucci shoe. And their clothes are so amazing. They're so beautiful and they're so intricate in the detail. Um, but dang, they are spendy. There was this one shirt I saw, um, I was at Nordstrom, I was in the Gucci store, the Gucci, um, I guess, store or section of um, our Nordstrom. And this sales associate was wearing this amazing shirt like with the snake print and then there was some kind of velvet ribbon at the top it was fantastic and I asked her if they still had it in stock and they they did they didn't have it in the store but they were going to order it in for me and it was on sales 50% off and I was like great I mean I'll probably I mean I loved it so much I was like well it's probably still really expensive um but it's you know I, I was prepared to buy it anyway because I really loved it thinking that 50% that originally it was $700 and that 50% off it was $350 or something like that right so she comes back with the I asked her how much it was she comes back with the price and it's $749 that is the 50% off that is with the 50% off that was a $1,500 button-up shirt and I just thought I just I couldn't I was like that's just especially with something that was so, um, it was so unusual. The print was so unusual. It, I just couldn't see myself getting my cost per wear out of it. So I did not get it. But this shirt that I got 
from H&M reminds me, a, it, it's just very Gucci-esque to me and it is fabulous. It is fabulous. I love this freaking shirt. It's a, um, a button-up shirt with this high neck, this high uh, kind of mock turtleneck, I guess, mock turtleneck detail. I don't know if it's, it's not really a mock turtleneck, but just a high neck detail. And these, this ruffles on the sleeve. Are you kidding me? And then all of this detail with the tigers. Oh my God. And the color is, it's like a pinkish, purplish color with Look at the tigers and the leaves and the flowers. I just cannot stand it. Can't deal with it. And the other thing is that, I don't know why this makes me so happy. It's not a button, it snaps. Oh my God, I love this shirt so much. It's so awesome. It's so awesome, I, I can't. Um, like I said, it's from H&M. It's their, con what, is it? what do they call it? The the uh con oh my gosh get your life together conscious line um and i just think that this is oh my god it's so awesome it's so it's so good it's just it's so good the thing that worries me about this is that um you know h and m everything sells so quickly. And so I worry that it's not available. They did have another shirt similar. It was a shirt in the same vein um, and it was dark and it was really beautiful too, but this one just took my breath away. So if I can find it, I will link it below. And I, I can find that other one um, that was similar to this one, I will link it below as well. But this Mo Flicker, oh my Oh, I love it. I love it so much. I cannot wait to style this. I cannot wait to wear this.